He's the G.O.D. of the GTR. He lives and breathes Skylines. It's Robbie Ward from Rips. Robbie Ward, we've got the world's first RB33 engine. Talk us through it. Basically had a guy contact me from Ireland yep. and he had a bit of money to spend and he once again just wanted something different. He wanted something that nobody else had ever had. And he said, I want enough power to just destroy any tires that I want to destroy. And we started with a, uh, a normal RB30 block, but then I uh, designed a, a crankshaft, pistons, rods, uh, we've got our own billet main caps, handmade, everything is custom. The exhaust manifolds, turbos, everything is all specifically to get the best response out of this uh, RB33. Personally, it was a challenge to just do something that's never been done before. Yeah. Um, and just the sense of pride to be, I mean, obviously it's not quite finished yet, but the sense of pride to be able to stand back and go, you know, we made that here. And yeah. uh, it, it's, it's going to be a killer engine, yeah. Uh, everything's custom made to suit whatever the customer decides he wants. This one here is just an inlet plenum. Yeah. Um, for a R33. Do you make everything it, all right down to this part here or is... From this part here, where the welds are across here, that's the factory inlet manifold. Yeah. Uh, it just gets cut off and then we make everything from here on and obviously modify the end for the water jacket. It's all handmade. To go fast, is it better to have two turbos or the one big banger? Uh, in a drag racing situation, normally a big single. Normally a big single is the way to go. We normally go with smaller twins for response on the road or something like that. And he can't resist rebuilding his engine in his 240Z for this year's drags. Now I'm guessing that this thing's got some heavy horsepower. What sort of horsepower are we running? Uh, this particular one we haven't fired up yet with the new combination, but with the old combination we're just under a thousand at the wheels. Uh, at two bar, we're, we're definitely keeping away from methanol. We, we want to do um, as much as we can on C16, and um, yeah, we've got down to 8.7, 162 mile an hour on street tyres, full, fully road legal car, and uh, we're looking to up that a bit more now. We're aiming for sort of low eights, 170 mile an hour at least. New exhaust manifold, new turbo, so we'll have that in the car within the next couple of weeks, and we'll get back on the dyno and see how we go. Right now, Rob, you get a call from some bloke in England. He wants proven performance. He wants the RB30 here. The first thing you do, you go slap the turbo from your 240Z motor that broke the world record, and he's looking at hitting the nines. That's the plan, yeah. No, he, he said to me, look, I need something that I know is going to make the power that I want, and um, we've given him the actual turbo and actual manifold, an identical cylinder head, identical bottom end. I know this motor will make a thousand horsepower, so it's no no problem at all. A thousand horsepower. I mean, it sounds scary. Most people don't even dream of having a horse, thousand horsepower in there. Just you know, the usual car. In terms of this, tell us what you've done with the motor in terms of getting it to that, that thousand horsepower level. Okay. Uh, once again, we just start with a standard RB30 block. Um, this particular one's got our billet mains, uh, stud kit. Uh, it's got a standard crank, um, aftermarket rods and pistons that are all done to our specs. Uh, cylinder head with extensive work on the head. Basically, from the head gasket down, it's just a pump. From the head gasket up, that's where your horsepower is made. So we spend a lot of time on manifolds, cylinder head, um, selection of valves and springs and cams and all that sort of thing to come up with what we know will work. What are your thoughts on Fanger with the uh, new RB26 in the uh, VY Commodore? What else could he put in it? <laughs> Why would you want a V8, mate? I kind of expected that to come through. We asked you what you do with Pooker's walking show, and you said first thing I do is get rid of that V8 and chuck it over the back fence. Yeah, no, no. Well done to him. He's going to obviously cop a bit of flat from the from the uh, V8 boys, but uh, he's gone with something that he knows that's going to be reliable. Uh, I mean, obviously power is not everything, and, and torque and response is a big thing of drifting, but. The RBs can do it. I mean, he's 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 up there, so there, there won't be a problem. I mean, what are we looking at in terms of just getting the word rips associated with your vehicle? Uh, most guys would start off with a, an intake plenum or a fuel system, um, maybe an exhaust manifold, but uh, yeah, the, the bolt-on stuff. And we do a lot for RB20s and RB25s. My passion is um, the RB30, and um, yeah, we just love what we do. It's all we do, and. If they want something to do with an RB, um, they know that I'll put every ounce of effort into making it perfect. Now, if you think you know whereabouts we are and you think you're going to come down the rips and try and get a piece of these RB30s in there, I tell you what, look behind me, there ain't no chance. I'm shitting myself, eh? We're like quite close to this beast and he might look real docile right now, but the boys are telling me you step one foot more closer to him and you've pretty much, uh, yeah, 
200 bucks if you go out and pat him on the head. I'm a sucker right, for we'll double or nothing. We'll each other and just keep going back and who walks furthest back. Just go like that. Yeah. Just walk towards him like this. Now it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, not for 200, not for 200,000. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rips does skylines, Jack does security.